Hello students, today we are going to start with another new chapter which is refraction through a lens. Now what exactly is a lens? See, I have already given you a definition but I will explain it to you in a simpler way. Lens is a transparent refracting medium bonded by two surfaces which are generally spherical. So what we are talking about, see, you have already done this chapter in your class 9th as well which was the refraction on the thing which is lens. So lens are basically of two types, one is convex and another one is concave. So the definition is lens is a transparent refracting medium bonded by two curved surfaces or two surfaces which are generally spherical. The point they mean by generally spherical is that thus if this surface if it is extended through the edges it will form a complete sphere. Same is the case with concave this makes a part of a sphere whereas well this curvature makes a part of the sphere. So the curvatures are not just any simple curvature, they are actually the part of a spherical structure. Now this is not a mandatory condition in case of lens that both the curvature should be of equal radius, alright? Alright, let's move on. This is a converging lens and another one is a diverging lens which we know by another name which is convex and concave lens. Now why they are called converging and diverging lens? That is because convex lens converges all the light rays which are coming parallel towards the lens to a single point whereas the concave lens also does the same but in opposite manner for that means the light rays which are coming parallel are getting diverged in different direction, they are getting splitted up. But if I protrude them back, if I extend them backwards, they will be meeting at a single point. Same is the case with this point, all the rays which are coming parallel to the principal axis. Now what is principal axis? We will uh, bring that point also in the picture. So all these lines which are or the rays which are coming parallel towards this lens, they are meeting at the same point. Right? And that is exactly what concave lens is also doing but in the opposite manner. So the here actually rays are getting splitted up, diverging in nature. They are all converging towards one point, so converging in nature. Alright, so as I said you that these surfaces which are uh, curved surfaces which is bounding the two mediums or uh, the single medium which is bounded by two free surfaces, say it any way you like it they are not necessary to be of equal radii of curvature. For example, I have given you few shapes of the various types of lens which are very frequently used in modern days. First one is a plano convex. Now as the name suggests, see this is how you name it. The first surface is the second word, second surface is the first word. So the first surface was what? Convex. Second surface is plane. So vice versa, plano convex. This one is plano concave because second surface is plane and then first surface is concave. Here the name is biconvex and this one is biconcave because both the surfaces are convex and both the surfaces are concave. So these are the real names of the lens convex and concave but we generally call them convex and concave instead of calling them biconvex or biconcave lens. So don't get confused if you sometimes hear this in any of your tests that a biconvex lens of this much focal length is placed this much. So biconvex is simply a convex lens. This is a meniscus, that means a concavo convex lens or convexo concave. To be very precise, second surface is convex, first surface is concave, so it will be convexo concave, alright. Now, refraction through a lens. Now, how refraction actually occurs from a lens? How does light bends when it passes through a lens? See, I have given you an example that the same diagram, I will show you the diagram. I showed you this diagram that all the light rays which are coming parallel towards the concave lens, they are diverging in nature but they, if I extend them backwards, they will be meeting at the same point. Same is this diagram, the lines which are coming parallel, see, I will explain you what are the points and what are the names I will be using, I will be making both of the lens and then I will explain. First of all, I told you that this sides or these curves are actually part of spherical curvatures figures, right? Or complete spheres. So I am making these two spheres for this lens. Similarly, I am making these two spheres for this lens, okay? Now each sphere will have some center. So that point is called center of curvature. 
Similarly, on this side, it will be having its own center of curvature. If I join these two points, I will get what we call as principal axis. The line joining two center of curvatures is called principal axis. Now, if this point is our center of curvature, what do you think this distance should be? The distance from center to the surface of a circle or a sphere is called radius. So, this will be the radius of curvature, right? Both sides, there will be two radii of curvature. Now, half of the distance, half of the radius of curvature is called focus. These points are still going to come into uh, the PPT, so you can note it down then. I have to explain you a few stuff, so I'm, that's why I am naming them out right now. So, half of the radius of curvature is focus. This is just a quick revision of what you have learned in your previous classes, right? Similarly, in this structure also, you have a center of curvatures, principal axis and focuses. Now, in this diagram, you can see that the parallel rays which are coming parallel to principal axis towards this concave lens are they are all diverging the blue lines but if they are extended backwards they are meeting at focus so this shows your property if you remember the diagram of convex lens that all the lines were converging towards one point so they were actually meeting at focus and this in this diagram as well you can see that all these lines are supposed to be coming from focus so, this is how refraction takes place. So, what are actually the laws which are governing refraction through a lens? To understand that, let us proceed. First of all, we are going to learn two simple rules for both convex and concave lens that how refraction takes place and how do we have to draw a ray diagram. First of all, the rules are written for convex lens. The rules are very simple. These are if a ray is coming parallel to principal axis, it will always pass through focus. Now, there are two focuses. Which focus it should pass through? That will be decided by knowing the nature, whether the lens is converging or diverging in nature. So, we are talking about two simple rays in both convex and concave. First of all, this is F 2 F, F 2 F, same ways here. Okay, now why I am calling f 2 f because half of the radius was focus. So, double of it will be center of curvature. So, this radius of curvature, this whole distance is divided into two parts, focal length and twice of focal length. Simple. Okay. Now, the rules are the line or the ray which is coming parallel to principal axis will always pass through focus. Similarly, in this also, the ray which is coming parallel to principal axis will have to pass through focus, but the nature of this lens is what diverging in nature. So, it has to diverge the ray which is coming parallel. So, it will be going something like that, so that it will appear that these rays are coming from the focus only. It was here. So, see simple is the first rule, the line which is coming or the ray which is coming parallel to the principal axis will has to pass through focus. Second one is even more simpler, the vice versa of it, which is if a ray passes through focus, it will become parallel. So, exactly converse of it, the ray which is passing through focus, I will make it in other color. In this diagram, if a ray is going through focus, after passing through lens, it will become parallel to the principal axis. Same is in the case with this the ray which is passing through focus is going to get parallel with the principal axis. Now, what did I make wrong in these two diagrams? Figure it out fast because see in convex and concave, they are different lenses. They have different nature of obedience towards the refraction of rays. In this diagram, the straight line or the straight ray was passing through focus whereas in this diagram, this straight ray went in this direction. But for the red line, I made exactly same diagram in both. So, definitely one is wrong, right? Figure it out. I will give you the third rule which is not written in this, these two uh, sentences, these two points. The third rule is even simple to make the ray diagram which is, the first one was 
the ray which is coming parallel to principal axis passes through focus the second one was the vice versa which is the ray which is coming through the or which is passing through focus goes parallel after passing through the lens third one is the simplest one which is the ray which passes through optical center goes straight without bending so what is this rule the ray which passes through optical center what is optical center as the name suggests it is the center of the lens so if a ray is passing through the optical center it will go straight undeviated basically it's not like that that this ray did not have any kind of refraction it is not like that it's just the fact the equal kind of refraction happened at both the surface so whatever amount whatever with whatever amount the ray got refracted at this surface an equal and opposite amount of refraction took on the other surface and that is why the ray is going straight same is the case with concave the ray which is going passing through optical center will always pass straight without bending so you all have to do is just pass these two lenses or just pass these two rays from the opticals like from the parallel one from focus and the another one from the optical center and you will get your image diagram okay so write down the rules for convex all the rules are clear similarly the rules are for the concave lens now to know or to study exactly the behavior of lens how do they refract light rays or how do they do so you will have to again imagine the formation of image or the bending of light or the refraction of light through what was happening in prisms so do you remember any diagram of prism i'll make one for you right now see in prism this was the diagram we used to make like this then from first surface the ray will bend this is the normal the ray will bend towards the normal and then from second surface if this is the normal it will bend instead of going straight away from the normal right this is the diagram which we are very clear of imagine that there is this prism then th there is another prism like this then another prism like this and then another prism like this so what we have made up is just that this is a formation of a convex lens so basically lenses are are supposed to be made of small prism like structure and then you will be able to understand how exactly they refract light this is the diagram for both converging and diverging this is called the action of lens as a set of prism so this by this method you will be able easily able to explain how refraction in case of convex towards one point that is converging towards one point and how in case of concave diverging from the one point takes place by just considering them as nature of prisms